Uh, there was at one point, if you walked down the most fashionable shopping streets in the world, there was a day when they all blacked out their shop windows and had nothing except black uh, paper in their windows and then in white lettering, hashtag Black Lives Matter. So every corporation on the planet that anyone wants to buy anything from basically fell for the scam. Absolutely. Then you have the corporations and you have the TV channels, you've got... You know, all these corporations saying, oh, we're going to do the, you know, with their little advertise, adverts and their promotions around BLM. You've got the footballers all kneeling. There was a point where you couldn't get away from it. And if, if you just said, look, I don't want to support this foundation, yet I am against discrimination, um, mm. you, it, you just came under this barrage of abuse. And, and, it, and there were black people like Larry Elder, Candice Owens, Christian Walker, David Harris Jr. And mm. because they were calling out BLM and what it actually stands for, they were getting so much abuse. And the funny thing, it was mostly from white liberals that were doing it, telling them what they yeah. should be offended by. I mean, I was just on, I just got called out by this woman who said, you should be offended when people ask where you're from. You know, my mum's from the Philippines. She came to England when she was 23. Uh. And she, this white woman is telling me that I should be offended for somebody saying, oh, where are you from? Where are your parents from? You know, it's just nice conversation. I'm proud of my heritage. I've always been uh. happy to talk uh. about where my parents are from. But it seems like, you know, there's a lot of these liberals that, that are just telling people what they must be offended by, what they should, you know, do. And, and the sad thing was when, when the riots happened, these mostly peaceful riots, mm. it was a lot of my yeah. you know, white liberal friends that were rationalizing it. They were excusing it. Um, I lived in Los Angeles for 17 years and I lived by Melrose mm. for probably about seven or eight years. My nail salon got looted and burnt down. An yep. Argentinian restaurant across the road got burnt down. These were small independent retailers. And there were a lot of black mm. people saying, don't do this to our neighborhoods. But you never saw that. Because when black people came no. out and said, don't burn and loot our neighborhoods, it went against the narrative of BLM.